Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. So before we uh, dive into refactoring our code uh, into class-based React components, today it's going to be a like quick video about uh, object-oriented programming. It's not going to be much uh, of detail, but uh, I would say a quick explanation of how JavaScript uh, inheritance works. And uh, so in my slide, uh, of course, uh, this line is really important. Web components are the future of web development. And uh, check out this video. And inheritance with class. Yes, we are going to do that. But before that, there is a puzzle. So what is this? So what I mean to see is, uh, do you think, is there a chance that uh, this can turn into a true possibility? Uh, let's see how we can do that. So this is an X. <laughs> so I'm comparing this with double equal to. So when when you are using double equal to, that means it is not uh, doing the type check. So simply uh, JavaScript will try to see if both the parties are of the same type. If not, it will try to convert the one into something else. So it will try to check if X has a value of, then if it doesn't find, it will try to go to, to a string. And let's see how we can utilize this aspect. So I'm going to create a variable over here. So this is going to be X is equal to, and this is going to be simply an object. And it has a value and it's going to be one. And let's say, then I have an uh, two string method over here. So what I'm trying to do over here is now return x dot val plus plus. That's it. And uh, let's go to the next line. All right. And I'm just going to paste the line. Uh, sorry for the say. And let's see if it works. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, it's it's saying that it's true. And let's check the x value now. So when you say x dot val, you can see it's four right now. So what has happened is when I hit x for the first time, it ran this double equal to operator it saw that oh they both are not of the same type it ran two string method by default uh, each object uh, since x is an object literal uh, it has a prototype so if i inspect this x dot prototype so you can see it has all this inbuilt things which are inherited from this object global object object <laughs> so let's just see get prototype of x and as you can see uh, it's yet the same thing so it's telling me that this is a prototype of object so i can even do that is triple equal to object dot get prototype of x is equal to equal to object dot prototype and it should be true so yes x has a prototype of object so this is inheritance uh, in a smaller term <laughs> I'm not sure how to explain it further, but let's just quickly dive into creating a simple class. So I'm just going to create a class called person, which has a constructor. So this is a method which expects first name and last name. So I'm just going to set this dot first name equal to f name. And I'm going to have a method over here called get full name which basically uh, returns me all right let's see this so i'm going to just create another variable over here called let aj equal to a new person and i'm going to pass it name ajinkya comma burade that's my name and let's just hit enter and see if it has those methods. AJ dot get full name. And it returns me everything. 
so by default ag let's see if it we have anything to string so as you can see to string is still available and if i just hit enter over here you can see aj is a type of person and it has this properties and it is inheriting underscore underscore proto that is prototype of and global object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another class over here so this is going to be employee so employee um, expects a profession and uh, profession is basically a constructor right oh i'm so sorry i added it over here so constructor expects a profession so maybe it can be web developer designer anything so this dot profession is equal to profession but uh, employee also has to have a name so basically first name and last name so why not inherit this method over here which is this guy so i'm just going to say extends extends person so when i do this all this this basically this constructor and this methods are getting injected into the prototype of employee so now i need to also provide the first name and last name which is expected by persons constructor so i'm just going to pass it over here f name and name and a profession and since i have to invoke this constructor of person i have to type something called super and uh, super expects first name and last name if name comma l name and that's it and let's see this in working but before doing that let's uh, add one more method over here for the employee um, get bio which would return me my full name along with my profession what i need to do is get my full name so which is available on person super dot get full name let's see if it works plus a space or maybe just a comma and i'm just going to append this dot profession which should be good to go and i'm going to create a new employee over here called uh, steel so steel is a new employee which has a first name of steel okay and he's a javascript developer web developer and hit enter so let's see uh, steel has get bio or not all right it works okay so if i just say get bio again it return me steel doi is the full name and if i say get full name the prototype chain what it will do is it will try to search for get full name on steel prototype if it doesn't find it will go into the prototype of its parent so that is person so and it will find that and it works so let's just see uh, object dot get prototype of steel over here and let's just hit enter and you can see the prototype of steel is person so it's actually inheriting person and that's it from this video uh, so in the next video when we meet uh, we are going to actually uh, finally going to refactor our code um, into class based react components so till then don't forget to join me on the conversation at gitter im slash javascript evangelist and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel that is javascript evangelist